This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 UTG 2900 ultrasonic thickness gauge. The UTG 2900 is designed to test metallic and non-metallic materials as long as they have parallel top and bottom surfaces and sound waves can travel through the material. This model also has a through coating function which allows for tests on painted and coated surfaces. The technology incorporated utilizes a simple ultrasonic dual element transducer that transmits and receives sound waves. Generally, velocity of sound through the material to be tested is a known value and is supplied via chart in an operation manual. In the case of the UTG 2900, we have preset the unit velocity to read steel, which matches the material of the built-in test block. You always have the option to manually preset the velocity of any material. Each gauge is supplied with a 5 MHz dual sensor probe, a bottle of coupling gel, NIST certificate, batteries, a USB stick with operation manual and software. Now let's move over to the operation of the UTG 2900 and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests and obtaining results. To begin, insert the plugs of the transducer into either of the plugs in the gauge. Press the power button top right to bring up the interface screen. You can power down the unit by pressing the same button. The button on the bottom right is the enter key. To turn on the backlight, press the button on top left and press again to turn off. Pressing the probe key will allow you to change the probe setting in the menu. The unit is set to default on the general purpose probe included with the gauge. Scroll through the menu using the up and down arrow keys, press enter to choose your selection and return to the home screen. In order to calibrate, after pressing the probe key, apply the gel to the test piece on the face of the unit. Pressing the probe flat on the test piece, contact is shown on the screen and the unit will calibrate to about 157 thousandths or 4 millimeters automatically. This is called a probe zero. Pressing the unit key will allow you to toggle back and forth between inch and metric. Note that the unit setting will determine how the velocity setting is shown. To set velocity setting, press the velocity key twice and use the up and down arrows to choose the correct setting. A general purpose chart is supplied in the manual for reference. There are velocity calibration methods to pinpoint velocity of material with a known thickness. Place the probe on a part with a known thickness. Then remove the probe. Press the velocity key once. Adjust the value to match a known thickness of material. Press the velocity key again and it will display the sound velocity for that material. Push the velocity button to save. The scan key will allow you to run the transducer across a given area. The transducer takes 10 readings per second and displays readings while scanning. When the probe is lifted from the material, the unit will read the lowest value in the scan. The save button can be depressed after each reading to save. Taking test is very easy. After making sure your measuring parameters are set correctly, inch, metric, and velocity of material, place a small amount of gel on the workpiece and follow with the probe on the workpiece. Readings will show on the screen. Be certain not to use too much gel. Use just enough to remove air from between the probe and the test material. To test in through coat mode, press the coat button and look for the display to read EE. This is echo to echo mode. It will allow the user to take a reading on a coated surface while eliminating the thickness value of that coating. It is suggested to do a probe zero on the test block when switching to this mode before testing. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 UTG 2900 ultrasonic thickness gauge. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.